guys welcome back to my channel in today's video I am reviewing the elf matte putty primer and I'm sure all of you have heard about the first one that came out the poreless putty primer I have used that recently before and I loved it absolutely loved it um, I have oily skin so I of course wanted to try out this new matte one they do have a luminous one as well but I'm not really for the luminous look I'm really a matte person because like I said I have oily skin so I'm going to go ahead and go on their website and just read the description that they have about it on their website. Okay, so it says that our best-selling primer goes matte. This velvety, oil-free formula delivers a perfect matte finish, which I am looking for. This skin-perfecting putty primer is infused with kaolin and white charcoal. So I'm not sure how to pronounce that K word. I've never heard of it, honestly, before. It absorbs excessive oil for a shine-free finish. Velvety texture glides effortlessly over the skin, smoothing over imperfections for a poreless effect. The ultimate grip on makeup. And so this one basically says that it's perfect for those who want a shine-free matte complexion, which is what I'm looking for. So this retails for $8, just exactly like the Poreless Putty Primer. The difference is that this one has that white shade. All of the primers all have the same packaging. They all look like this, and obviously this one is white, the other one is pink, and I think the luminous one has like a goldish, yellowish look to it. Okay, so now we're gonna open it up. All right, so I'm gonna do a quick smell test just to see if it has any scent to it. It doesn't really have a scent, and I'm just gonna fill it. So it feels very like um, lotion-y and I feel like the poreless putty primer honestly feels thicker than this one. I'm really really excited to try this product out. So I'm going to go in with my cat ears. And then I'm using my handheld mirror and I've already moisturized like a while ago. So I'm just going to take a little bit and then rub it in my face. So it goes on really smooth and it's easy to blend out. I'm just going to put it all over my face because I do get oily really easily. I also recently shaved my face with those little face razors and honestly, I'm kind of ready to see how it's going to lay my foundation because I heard that if you shave your face, it lays the foundation pretty, pretty good. So I to see how accurate that is. So I have the primer on. This is what it's looking like. Moving on to foundation, I'm using the Wet n Wild Photo Focus in the shade Soft Beige. I want to know if you guys like makeup videos. I feel like I get less views on my makeup videos. I don't know if it's because I suck at makeup or you're just not interested in seeing makeup. Um, I just like to share with you guys because it's something that I do love to do. I love to do makeup. It's just something that I've always done. But I don't get a lot of views and I'm wondering if it's because that you guys don't like makeup or, or is it because I suck? I don't know. <laughs> Let me know in the comments down below. So I'm just going to blend it out with my e.l.f. This was like $5 sponge that I got from Walmart. I'm going to do my whole makeup routine like normal. Elf has been coming out with a lot of new stuff and I'm honestly really surprised about the new products they have released. Um, as I feel like whenever I first started out makeup, I, I would not ever use Elf just because I feel like it was so cheap and I didn't really like it. Um, but they're really, really coming out with advanced form formulas and I'm really, really surprised and I love how affordable they are like I said I love drugstore products so props to you elf okay so now I'm going in with concealer and I feel like every a lot of my products in this video are elf brand I'm going in with my 16 hour camo concealer I'm gonna try to use the rest of this bottle I seen on TikTok where you take the little clear plastic thing out that you can get more product out and it was so true I had so much in here because I was gonna throw this away but I seen a TikTok on taking that out and it works so honestly taking it out was really hard though
and this concealer I'm sure it was like I think it was like five to six dollars if you've been watching me for a minute I've been using this and I got a backup ready to go right, so for my concealer I am going to use a sponge because the brush that I usually use is really dirty I haven't washed it yet so I am using a beauty blender to blend this out I'm excited to see how this primer is going to be I've heard a lot of good stuff about it Alright guys, so now I'm going to go in with some Airspun setting power, and this is in the shade Translucent Extra Coverage. I tried to order another one, but they were all sold out at Walmart, so I just, I am just going to wait. Um, I don't like to use any other powder. I'm sticking to this. This is my absolute all-time favorite powder, and then I'm just going to go in with a damp beauty blender and set my face. Okay, so setting powder is on. I'm going in with contour. I'm using this LA Girl blush collection and I'm using this little contour color right here. And then I have this little e.l.f. brush and I'm just going to dab into it and then pat this in and then go in circular motions. So it is like day three on my diet and I am doing actually really good. I have found some things that I can replace for foods that I was craving and I'm super, super excited. I just feel like that I'm ready for this change in my life to start eating healthy. Um, yeah, I'm super, super excited about it. So I'm just going to go in with like a fluffy brush and put on a little blush. I know I barely wear blush, but I just wanted to do it for this video just to see how good it would hold all the products on. So now I'm going to go in powder and just do that. All right, so while that's baking, I'm moving on to eyebrows. And you all know I'm using my Milani Brow Dip in the shade Dark Brown. It takes me a minute to do my eyebrows, so I'm going to go ahead and speed this up. So I'll see you in a sec. All right guys, so now I have brows and I'm, they're looking really, really good. I went ahead and cut them as well. Now I'm gonna go in with some eyeshadow because I haven't worn eyeshadow in a minute. I just, when I'm wearing, I don't know, I just kinda usually like, to, I just usually like to wear my wings and my lashes, but I need to get back into wearing eyeshadow because I feel like I, not to toot my own horn or anything, but I feel like I'm really good at eyeshadow and I feel like I don't express that enough. So I'm gonna go in with the eyeshadow look and I'm going to speed this up so this video won't be um, 30 minutes long. Alright guys, so I finished my eyeshadow, now I'm going to go in with some liner and throw some lashes on real quick, and then I'll see you guys after that. Really quick though, before I put the lashes on, I just want to show you how gorgeous these lashes look. And if you know me, you know I love to wear dramatic lashes, and these are screaming dramatic. Look how cute these are. I think these were... I think these were like six dollars. They are by Kiss and they are the Lash Couture. They're basically supposed to look like you have lash extensions on and I'm super, super, super excited to try these on. So here is what they look like again if you want to take a screenshot or anything. Okay guys, so here is the final look and I highly, highly recommend these lashes. If you love dramatic lashes like me and you don't want to pay for those very, very, very expensive lashes and then get these seven to six dollars lashes. And like I said, this is the Lash Couture collection and this is in the style cashmere i'm obsessed and I don't think i will be going for any other lashes these are my all-time favorite now i'm super super in love with them and in person they look so different um but yeah and i wanted to let you guys know i did buy some new setting spray as well and i did get the elf setting spray and this is the 
matte magic mist and set and this was five dollars and i wanted to test this out as well because i am using the matte primer might as well go ahead and get the combo and get the matte setting spray all right guys so i'm going to go ahead and go with my day and i'll see you guys in eight hours to see how my makeup is for right now i love how it's looking my pores are blurred for the most part laid the foundation really really good it i wish you guys could see it in person it looks so so much different i feel like on the camera it picks up little little things like little blemishes like i have some blemishes right here but in person i feel like it's really really blurred and honestly that setting spray is bomb i like it so far see you guys in eight hours I forgot to mention you guys that I will have the timestamps like right here. So right now I will put the time and then whenever I check in, I will put the time again right here. Hi guys. So it is eight hours later. I will put the time, like I said, like somewhere probably right here. Um, so I haven't looked at it all day. I haven't touched it up any all day. So I got my mirror right here and I'm going to just examine. Okay, so I honestly don't see any oiliness at all. Um, I'm going to get up close and let you guys take a look. Obviously, I do look shiny just from my highlight. Oh, you guys, I am wearing a different shirt because I did change. I got something on my other shirt, so I went ahead and just threw a tank top on. But anyways, um... This is what it looks like. I do have some creasing right here, but that's just normal. Any Anything I use, um, that usually happens. So, and here is my forehead. It just looks a little shiny. I, would, I don't want to say it's like oily or anything, but let me know what you guys think. I honestly want to look one more time. If you guys could see it in person, you, I feel like it would be very, very, I feel like it looks more different in person than it does on camera. Um, I personally love, love, love this primer. Um, so if you have oily skin, I highly, highly recommend this primer. It is really, really good. Like I said, it's only $8, not bad at all, especially for how good it has performed on me today. Usually throughout the day, I will have to blot or touch up, but in this case, I didn't have to do anything. It looks really, really good. I, so this primer, I give it a 10 out of 10, and then also um, part of why it stayed so matte today is because I used that e.l.f. matte setting spray, and I honestly think these two, the primer and the spray, is a really, really good combo. So like I said, if you have oily skin, I highly, highly recommend these two products together. They do really, really good. Um, yeah, I have no other word. I really feel like it did its job. This is honestly probably going to be my go-to primer and setting spray because I love it. I love it. I highly recommend it. There you guys go. That's it for this video. If you like this video or you like to see me review new makeup, please comment down below. And if there is any new makeup products that you want me to review, please comment them down below. And also before you leave, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Also click that notification bell so you guys know when I upload. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye you guys. Stay safe out there.